Tonight, Americans are praying, reflecting, and giving thanks on this National Day of Prayer. The day arrives in the grips of a pandemic that has killed or sickened millions across the globe. And while the disease may seem overwhelming at times, it's prayer that we turn to for peace, comfort, healing, and encouragement. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Tracy, earlier I spoke with counselor to the president, Kellyanne Conway, a Catholic, and asked her why this National Day of Prayer is so vitally important, especially right now. This year, it takes on a special significance, if not consequence, knowing that we are praying for all those who have lost their lives and all those who are grieving the loss of their loved ones, um, especially, I have to say, those who felt that they could not say that final goodbye, which is so important to, to everyone. Uh, the COVID-19 has interrupted our daily life in so many ways, and we need to be prayerful and we need to be unified. Kellyanne Conway told me she prays every day she enters the White House. I pray for all of those first responders, healthcare workers, all the people who feel isolated and alone, who feel economically desperate, who feel vulnerable to the pandemic. I, feel, I, I pray for the elderly who are told that they're vulnerable to the pandemic, many of whom are alone and isolated. I pray for all of our children, including my, and most especially my four, but all of our children, because they're confused and they're scared. And this is a very fraught time for them also. They, are, they have been totally upended from their normal educational and social structures as well, and their sports structures. I, I pray for those who have no one to pray for them. And a prayer is central to my life, and I think the most important part about my prayer for life is that I'm not ashamed to say that to anyone. Also taking part in the National Day of Prayer at the White House, faith leaders like Bishop Dwight Green of the Church of God in Christ. He called the day a rallying point. To let people of faith believe and know that uh, there is a large contingent of people around the country that's praying that God will give us a resolution to this matter. And for Brooklyn landlord Mario Salerno, who we told you about last month when he paid his tenants rents in front of the West Wing, the Catholic told us prayer is essential to beating the coronavirus. We have to ask the good Lord on this special prayer day to help not only our leaders, our doctors, but we all have to put this together because this vicious virus stopped us dead in our tracks and we have to get back. While the pandemic has led to so much illness, death, misery, and suffering, it has also clearly drawn millions of people closer to God through prayer here on this National Day of Prayer. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.